What's up? What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new series on my channel called Great Affordable Sneakers to Have in Your Collection. Everybody knows a great collection always has a few pairs of sneakers that don't really make you feel guilty for wearing them all the time, and that's exactly what I'll be talking about in this series. I'll be breaking down sneakers that fit the criteria of being in the $100 to $150 range, are versatile enough for everyday wear, and are relevant in today's sneaker world. What are those? So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, first up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Retro KO Edition. So for anyone that's not really familiar with these, they're pretty much like any other Jordan 1 Retro, but instead of leather, they're made out of a full canvas material. As seen on Kanye West, this is one of the more rare instances where Kanye wore a shoe multiple times, but the resale price didn't end up skyrocketing. And when it comes to retros, a lot of people are pretty picky when it comes to colorways being OG or not. Meaning, did they actually have this colorway and model back in the day? And for these, the answer is yes. Along with the breads, there was also a black and royal colorway that released last year, and then we could also expect the shadow gray colorway to release in February, all three being OG colorways. Alright, let's get into the price point of these. Retail price is a modest 140 bucks. But it's not like a lot of other Jordan ones where the retail price is affordable, but when you try to buy them from a reseller, it's like triple the amount. These actually stay around the same price from resellers. I'll have some links in the description box below for you guys that actually have some KOs for less than retail. Overall, I always thought these were a solid pickup if you want that Air Jordan 1 look without breaking the bank for an OG colorway. Alright, next up we got a pair of sneakers that are not an OG colorway, but still really cool. The Jordan 1 Cyber Mondays. One thing that I really like about these is the high cut of the sneaker. If you compare these with the Breads, the Royals, the Shadow ones, these actually take on a higher cut, more similar to the Chicago ones or the Fragments. This is probably not a make or break for a lot of people, but for me, I personally think higher cut Jordan ones look a little bit better when they're being worn. So besides the high cut and affordable price, another selling point for the Cyber Mondays is just the overall quality. A lot of people compare the buttery leather to the Chicago ones or even the Fragments. It's extremely soft and smooth, not really that hard plastic leather that a lot of Jordan Retros seem to have nowadays. Overall, the Cyber Ones are just a great sneaker that kind of have a high-end feel for not a high-end price. Alright guys, thank you for checking out that video. I left some links in the description box below for you guys. Please leave down in the comments below if you guys like this series. I want the channel to be as versatile as possible, so I might talk about some $500 pair of sneakers, but then I also want to talk about some affordable sneakers for you guys, so I'm going to try to cover it all. And that's pretty much it, and until next time, I'm out. Peace! Alright guys, make sure you watch this video, also check out this video, and if you guys get a chance, please subscribe to my other channel, Richie Lee TV. I got a lot of content coming up on that one. Also follow me on my Instagram, Richie Lee 23 I'm always announcing stuff on there, and that's pretty much it. Peace!